Hello everyone, welcome to the series of video tutorials on image recognition using the AWS Recognition API. In this video, we are going to talk about facial analysis. What is facial analysis? Basically, by using this application, you would be able to detect the facial attributes of all the faces in the image that you pass into the AWS Recognition API. For example, look at this image, you know. There is a girl smiling wearing sunglasses inside a vehicle and by using this application you would be able to say uh, that there is a face here uh, it appears to be female the age range is between 20 to 38 years old uh, she is smiling as you can see from the image appears to be happy whether she is wearing glasses sunglasses whether her eyes are open or not so things like that so basically all the facial attributes that you can mark in this lady here uh, AWS recognition API is going to return you all those facial attributes. Now, uh, if you look at the Boto3 documentation, there is a method called as detect faces, right? So let's go ahead and experiment with this method. Now, uh, if you haven't watched my previous tutorials, make sure you watch them because we are going to use a lot of the uh, code that we have written in the previous tutorials and we are basically building on top of that. So if you haven't watched them, go back, watch those three tutorials and then come back here to learn more about facial analysis. So basically, uh, I'm, going, um, uh, I'm going to look at this photo right here, um, the smiling girl.jpg. Here you can see we have a girl who is smiling, she is wearing some kind of sunglasses here and basically we are going to uh, have our image recognition uh, done on this image, right? So I already have put this image on my S3 bucket. Uh, as you know, you can also do it directly from here. However, we'll do it from the S3 bucket. Uh, the process is very simple. So if you want to do it from here, I have already explained it in my previous tutorials. You can easily go forward with it. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this method client dot detect moderation labels to the new method called detect faces. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can say here client dot detect faces and then uh, in the image parameter I'm going to pass in the S3 object. So basically the bucket name and the photo. So we have already saved the name of the photo in the photo variable. So I can directly pass in the photo. And now let's go ahead and print the response, right? All right, so here are the face details as you can see there is some bounding box uh, uh, dictionary key and then height left top landmarks eye left wait why aren't I uh, why why can, can we not see the facial details here I mean uh, in the AWS recognition API here we were easily able to see these things right whether she is smiling what is the age range but this is not returning anything why is that it is because we have to pass in an additional parameter here. So basically, if you go into the documentation, you will see that there is an additional parameter called as attributes. If you don't pass in this attributes parameter, it is only going to return you a subset of facial attributes like bounding box, confidence, pose, quality and landmarks. To get all the other facial attributes, we have to use the uh, attributes parameter and we have to mention it as all. So basically, let's go ahead and do that. So here I can say and then mention the parameter and then inside it, I'm going to pass all right. I hope uh, I haven't committed any mistakes here. Let's just uh, double check once again. Right. So basically, uh, if you don't pass in, it is going to return you the default values, which I mentioned here, uh, bounding box, confidence, pose, quality, landmarks. However, if you pass in all, it is going to return you all the facial attributes that AWS recognition API can identify. Right. So now let's go ahead and run this. Hopefully it works this time. All right. We have bounding box left age range all right now we have the age range the girl looks to be between 26 and 43 years old uh, she is smiling the value is true with a confidence of 87 uh, percent she is wearing eyeglasses the value is true with a confidence of 99 percent um, it also appears it could be sunglass it could be uh, normal eyeglasses again the confidence is 99 percent she looks female the gender is female uh, with a confidence of 99 percent and so on the beard is false the mustache is false and you can go ahead and uh, check uh, check it yourself you know now 
what happens if there are more than one faces in the image let's go ahead and look at that so now if I look at this image here it's quite a frightening image I must say this is the same guy smiling and sad here with some kind of makeup on him wow it's really frightening anyways what if we pass in this image uh, to our AWS recognition API so let's go ahead and try that so basically here you can see there is another image here with three people uh, it's analyzing okay so basically it is looking at one picture at a time so uh, you can keep uh, pressing the images here but how to do this programmatically right that's the question we are looking at so let's go ahead now uh, uh, in my s3 bucket I already have the image as something called as people faces dot jpg all right first what we are going to do is in the photo variable let's change this i can put in here uh, people faces dot jpg basically the name of the image file that i have in the s3 bucket then we have the detect faces method and everything let's print the response okay let's wait for it it's taking some time all right we have it here now uh, age range is 35 to 55 smile value is true so basically it is basically looking at this image where uh, the person is smiling the eyeglasses uh, uh, he is not wearing any eyeglasses or sunglasses gender is male with a confidence of 98 percent the thing is uh, AWS recognition API has returned you the uh, uh, values for both the people to go through it we have to write some kind of a for loop here right so I can say for key comma value uh, you know what before I write the for loop let's look at this response here so it would be easier for us to write the for loop so basically this is how the response is returned so there is a key called facial details and we have to look inside it right so here I can say for key comma value in response dot items if key equal to equal to equal to don't make that mistake uh, let's copy this thing face details we are only interested in looking at this thing uh, and then you can see in the value it's basically a list right um, so we have to go for that so for people attributes in value print people attributes and then let's just print some kind of a divisor here so it's easier to recognize I don't know if it's uh, gonna help I'm just uh, trying it out here let's go ahead and print this all right so we have both the values that AWS recognition API is returning for both the people now so basically these are the bounding box height left right top okay the age range for both of them is 35 55 here you can see smile for the smile value one of them is true one of them is false as you can see from the image this guy is not smiling <laughs> quite surely uh, with a uh, confidence of almost 99 percent for the person who is smiling and 94 percent for the person who is not smiling none of them are wearing eyeglasses here it's false sunglasses no one no one is wearing them the gender for both of them is male uh, with a confidence of almost 98 percent for both none of them have beards none of them have mustache uh, both of them have eyes open with a confidence of 99 percent mouth open let's see the emotions so emotions for the first person both of them uh, the type surprised the uh, is with a confidence of six percent only for the second person who is basically uh, sad the uh, surprised element is two percent disgusted feeling 0.22 uh, percent uh, 1.16 it's very less uh, for you can see here uh, the emotion sad for the second person is way more than emotion sad for the first person right for the first person is only 0 0.25 percent for the second person is 47.5 percent uh, okay the second person look more angry than the first person it's obvious uh, the second person looks more calm than the first person okay that's weird a little bit but yeah so basically this is how okay here's the happy emotion the first person is 92 percent is happy with the confidence of 92 percent the second person is not happy obviously the confidence is just two percent so basically this is how you can check the various facial attributes 
of all the faces that you pass in as an image to the AWS recognition API. This is one of the most important uh, uses of image recognition that you can have, uh, you can do on the different kinds of images that you want and I'm sure you will have a lot of fun uh, doing it. So make sure to uh, go ahead and experiment with the different images you have and I will see you in the next tutorial.